Hey clan, and welcome back to Sommer. When we last left off, we were playing as this uh, interesting gentleman called Simon, who had had a little bit of brain damage. Um, his brain was leaking, and he agreed to some kind of experimental procedure uh, involving having his brain scanned. You know, routine stuff. Uh, he stepped into the uh, weird brain chair. It will now be called the brain chair, by the way. And uh, he woke up, um, I'm guessing somewhere in the future, um, not quite sure how far into the future, but in some kind of underground research laboratory or, or something that seems to be very dilapidated um, and old. Also, uh, there's a, some kind of infection, I guess, uh, flowing about, and uh, we unleashed some kind of monster. Hmm, kind of a robotic velociraptor type dealio. Um, something very bad happened here. Um, and we're in going to endeavour to find out what and how we actually arrived here. Um, anything else? Ah, we just got our Omnitool as well. Um, also the power went out. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm assuming we've got to reboot everything. Right, now there is... Oh, also, I was told to push F to check for a flashlight, which made sense. Uh, we do not have a flashlight, unless it is just something else. Flashlight is F, so yeah, I guess we have to find it before we can use it. Yeah, I would have thought if we had one, the game would have uh, mentioned that. Right, um... Okay, well, we know something is wandering about here. We just don't exactly know where the little fucker is. Sound design is incredible. Well, ooh. I heard something. Yeah, this is going to be kind of awkward without a light. It is very 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 dark ah well this has been smashed open which is a little bit concerning I can either hear breathing or pumping I'm going to assume it's pumping doesn't look like there's a lot we can do here. Everything's dead. We must be able to restart power, maybe. Or perhaps just get to another location. Um, also, the last video... Well, that's a little bit peculiar. The last video was a little bit quiet, I was informed, so I will endeavour to make this one uh, louder. Now, is that just ambience? A little bit of flare? Or was that the monster that hunts us? Well, that looks like somewhere we can go, but what's down here? I am... I am really going to be pushing my pathfinding to the limit here. Ooh. So we can... We can open that door. Ah, uh, sure. Ooh. Well, that looks nice. I get the feeling that's the way we're supposed to go. I don't want to go there just yet. There must be more down here. Oh, something is making a lot of noise. Evening, sailor. Ah, so back there we have no electricity. Over here we have too much electricity. Flowing ions. Is that the only danger? Right, well, we're not going to worry about that too much. There's a door, but it doesn't look like there's anything lit up there. No, we can't fiddle with any of that. So what is all this? This is very interesting. I I'm very curious. I 
can't hear anything. Oh, it looks like we're on the other side. Ah, I doubt we can open this because it's locked. We really need some kind of tool to smash that shit off. Well, I think we're on our own, at least for now. So this is just a big loop that loops, loops round. Okay. Well, can we actually start this generator back up? I doubt it. No. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go back this way. Well, at least this way looks nice and lit. If there's one thing I like, it's uh, being able to see. Generally uh, lends us an advantage in these dark uncertain times at least we get to see what's about to murder us and this looks quite pretty as well I'm not sure about running should we be running everywhere I don't know can we shut the door behind us no alright well, this is very pretty like a more fucked up Bioshock. Well. These monitors are certainly out of action. Oh, hello. We have some uh, arms. So they're going to play with me. Data buffer available. Excellent. So I'm assuming that's some kind of log. What have we got here? It's all in Japanese. Keep this space clear at all times. Yeah, that looks like it could uh, whip us into shape. If we're not careful. Uh, oh, hello. Like nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. All silence like. So that's a shark that is kind of fucked up. Oh, so is this. Whatever this uh, infection is, it's like mutating life as well. There is some... Um... Some kind of map there. Not really sure what that's about. So I wonder if we get to go outside in the water. Whoa, that looks gnarly. Uh, back in different. Thick structure, structure gel. They can't shake. Was freaky fishes. So, they keep referencing this structured gel. I'm guessing that's some kind of compound that they used to repair the robots with. Interesting. So it sounds like they may very well have escaped. To another part. So crazy robotic machines are the order of the day. Well, that's interesting. But what exactly is the cause of all this uh, confusion? There's this oil again. Oh, well, that door's fucked. Just need to get back. So, is there someone still alive here? Kind of makes sense, I suppose. Alright, buddy. Alright, alright. Calm down, calm down. I will do what I can. What the hell is that? Plus. What was that? I have no idea. Are we like... Are we part machine? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, okay, that was strange. 
So we can fondle <sighs> pulsating robotic orifices. Got ya. Not really sure why. We can go in there as well. Really would like a flashlight game. Hmm. Alright. Do we upgrade our abilities then? Um, that's fine, but how do I interact? Okay, interact is always uh, left click. Got ya. Well, hopefully wherever we're going has lights. Big powerful ones. You know, the movement and everything in this game is really good. Although it does feel a bit strange that I can just spin around. Oh, we're definitely not alone here. Ooh. What the hell is that? Do they have some kind of like cleaner bots? Psychotic cleaner bots that are going to slice our faces off. I hope so. Well, it looks like we have multiple choices. See, the thing is, we're not like an engineer or anything. We're just like a guy from Canada that's just woken up here, which is kind of bizarre. Um, have we been... I, I don't know. I don't buy the whole kidnap thing. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Especially, um... As this is quite far into the future, I'm guessing. Unless, um... Maybe we went for the brain scan. And... Uh, we had our brain pattern sold I, on some kind of market. We've been downloaded into a robot, perhaps. Um, so Simon may have uh, lived a rich, full life after. But, um, of course, for the clone, the last thing the, the, the clone or, or the copy of the brain would know is uh, being in that office. So, yeah, that's a thought. But I don't know. I have no idea. And why would you wake up now? Station control. That sounds like somewhere we need to be. Ooh. So here's Ypsilon. Again with this weird shit. Science experiment? It's gotta be a science experiment. Whoa, what the fuck is that? That is a helper droid. One of those A95s? But what the fuck is it doing? Uh, hey there, fella. What the... Uh, ooh. Don't mind me a minute, mate. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on Wu. Issue has been reported to SSE. Uh, okay. So is that black stuff? Structure gel. There appears to be a lot of it in that case. Why the electrical interference? We must be some kind of machine. I don't really want to go wake that thing up. But I guess we've got to give him a little bit of a poke. Alright, buddy. We've overlooked the elephant in the room. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Simon. Who the hell are you? What? We can... Okay, we can... <laughs> we can talk to it. Um, I was expecting tentacle death. Hey, can you hear me? I'm going to drink coffee whilst we try and talk to this thing. No. Alright, so. This thing is being a bit of a jackass, ignoring us. Well, that's fine. Uh, okay, well, uh, unplug you maybe? Ooh. Let's have a look at this, though. What is... They're like, um... Hi, right, buddy. 
down a bit of a bad day. Don't you worry about it. Self-appointed engineer here. Yeah, they look like they've got these weird um, radioactive barnacles on them. Kind of ish. All right, matey. Well, I'm gonna unplug you. All right, you're probably not gonna like this. There we go. Oh no. Oh my god, it's like a proper human, human voice. Uh. Well, it's the only thing I can do. I'm afraid. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, bad news for you, pal. I think I need this more than you do. Hang on, is this structure gel? This black stuff? Are they are they using this to suck structure gel? And if that is indeed the case, why do we need it? We have to be a machine, surely. Is that like the big twist at the end, that we're a robot? It would make sense... But, uh, um, maybe. It can't be that obvious, though. Universal power. What have we got here? Manual boot sequence. So we've got S1 and S2. Alright. Cool. Uh, can we plug you back in? Perchance. No. Oh, maybe. Uh, can we? No. Well, you big dick. If you'd uh, spoke to me and told me not to do that, I would have left you alone. Uh, radio signal blocked. Insufficient power. Right, okay, so we are spooling up the generators here. Um, we've turned that on. I'm guessing that's the power station there. Um, that doesn't make sense of that structure gel, though, because I would have thought that um, there's way too much structure gel there. What's this do? That just opens and closes that. Uh, terminal locked. Well, that sucks. I guess we don't have administrative privileges. Uh, okay. Ah, that is actually a door. It's so dark, I can only just make it out. Right, that is actually a door, but we can't open it yet. So we need to... There has to be something we can do here, surely. Manual boot. We've got... Oh! No. Ah! Right, well that's going to prime that. Ah, okay. Do we have to lock it into place with one of these, perhaps? That's green. Ah, I see. I got you. I got you. Right, here we go. Turbines coolant. Yeah, this is some kind of generator. Okay. Let's get those turbines up. Main power online. Unlocking. Alright. Well, cool. Coolant is fine. Everything's fine. Ooh. What's this? Hydrotherm... Hydrothermal power? Maybe. So... Oh, hello! So, Site Theta. Offline. Ah, Lambada. Spain, Portugal. So, Site Lambada is online. Oh, hello. What's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Uh, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh... Absalon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what are you... Oh, single... oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 Some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, okay. Look, this place is not... A, there's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. 
So something's taking the relay uh, dishes offline. I'm assuming answering the call. I'm assuming they mean um, communication relays. Alright. Fair. Well, at least we've powered this sucker back up. I kind of want to go back and have a little look, see if we've uh, unlocked anything, but I don't know. So what have we got here? Uh, Ypsilon standard, pressure 2.07 bar, oxygen unavailable. Um, that doesn't sound good. Surely it needs oxygen for combustion. And may well, maybe it just needs uh, oxygen to start. Uh, production, power restored, recorded downtime, 143 days, 11 hours. Okay, so we're producing 426 megawatts, which is quite a lot. So the transformer's online. Multiple breaches, base structure, subcoat, minor perforation, armor area, abandoned, pressure, sluices, locked. Dock chassis confined. Um, in other words, the place is fucked, laddie. Alright. Well, at least we have power. Geothermal power. Uh, suspected structural faults must be reported immediately to your supervising engineer and Lombarda Station Logistics. Yeah, well, we just had Lombarda on the blower, but she didn't seem that interested, to be honest. Falling hazard. <laughs> you think? Let's try not to risk that. Blast doors. Crush hazard. Stay clear of gate. Uh, door opens and closes automatically. Well, that seems a bit silly. Why would you have a safety system that relies on an automatic system? That's just asking for trouble. Warning, high pressure steam. Mm hmm. Ooh, bollocks. The hell is that? Oh, we are not alone. Oh, we are not alone. Are we? No. No, we can't. <gasps> Ooh, what the... F ah, that's got to be that beastie majig that we... let out earlier. Right. Well. Might seem stupid, but the first thing I'm going to do, guys... I'm going to go get killed by this thing, because I want to learn how quickly it moves, etc. We need to kind of know what we're dealing with here. Hey, asshole! You are an in... Are you not hostile? Yeah, you're hostile. You're not very... Alright, okay. Maybe? I... I'm confused. I thought for sure it was going to come after us. Huh. Uh, move the mouse in circles. Oh, oh shit. That's not great. Oh, now it's fucking after us. Um. Okay. I have no idea where the frick we're going. Oh, crap. Great. On your feet. Alright, this thing doesn't appear to be that hard to give the slip. I wanted to see how quickly it killed us. But, uh, where the hell are we? Ah, another way up here. Uh, what does that do? Oh, okay. Huh. Right, so those things aren't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot fucking faster than that. It's kind of like a cute little chicken thing. He's alright. We shall call him Fleming. I wonder if we're going to see another Fleming. How do we get out of here? Ah, more stairs. 
Oh well. Is there more? Uh. Oh, alright. Well, that's either a recording. I guess he didn't get out, the guy that was helping Amy. Who the hell is drawing all these? These are fantastic. Alright. Maybe this was Amy. Pathios Buddies. Amy and Cole, that's it. So... Did they, like, survive together for the longest time? I guess. What have we got here? Uh, communications is basic. Oh, administration is fragged. Um, geothermal plant, southern block, sector G. So the power plant is where we've just been, I'm guessing. Uh, so we've got a factory, uh, which I guess is where we're going now. Storage, workshop, exit to airlock, changing room, pump station. Um, okay. Yeah, so we've just come from the power station. All right. So what do we have? Do we have anything useful here? Electronic hazards, we know that. Ah, yeah, another one of these. What is this? We can play with it, but I I don't know if we want to play with it. Uh, lockdown, process in, uh, initiated. Check terminal for details. Uh, login, so we need a login ID, maybe? Invalid login. Alright, uh, I'm guessing, get that out of here, I'm guessing, somewhere, there is some details. Oh man, Fleming was pretty cool, I can dig it. So, okay, we can't go back, so we have two terminals, does that mean we have two separate passwords, or are they both linked to the same system? Um, I'm not seeing anything there. Perhaps we have to return. That is red, which means we can't play with it. Although, it does look like there's something we need to look at through the door. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that enemy wasn't very scary. He was uh, kind of adorable, really. His little hands. He reminds me of a T-Rex. We've got choices. We've got one, two, three. What about up here? We can't... As to the comm center. Access to comm center. We're not going to play with that because we have three options to check. First, let's have a look through here. See where that voice was coming from. Yeah, I'm not. Amy? Are you a robot? Oh, hello. So, Amy and Carl were robots. What happened to me? What do you mean? What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semkin. Wrangler. Any of this sound familiar to you? I no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. Uh. Okay. What's wrong with you? Everything. Did you go diving in sewage or something? Uh, elaborate? What do you mean? Are you indicating that I do not look like a human? Hello? Can you, hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can Are fucking you hear you, mate. Shit, did, did my body give it away? <laughs> I try hard to save mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything uh, about this Okay, place? so he obviously oh, does not know he's a robot. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Alright, pal. Well, uh, I've only seen one other person, uh, in all honesty. And he was a little bit grumpy. So, I won't be having words with him. Was he your supervisor? Name of Fleming, by the way. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a switch. That looks like some kind of circuit 
breaker. I don't know. Yes, buddy, I'm on it. Shut your fucking mouth. Let me have a look. I have no idea what the hell I'm uh, dealing with here. You look like you're a few bolts short of a full toolkit. Uh, are you going to give me anything else? Where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay. I, I'm just, I'm just going to be, I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here. See? Okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? Right, yeah, he obviously does not know he's a machine. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clear memory. Yeah, we read about that. That was what he was supposed to do. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe mm. get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far fetched. Oh, so did his conscious somehow get sucked into the droid without him realizing? That that sounds Listen, I don't possible. Want to alarm you. But I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you're remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. Ooh, is that what we are? Are we somewhere else locked up that we're remotely controlling? I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. Alright, well, we're overlooking the elephant in the room here. Um, the only help I can see is this big switch. I have no bloody idea what's going to happen when I flick it. Oh, the lights go out. Uh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. There we go, there we go. All, all sins are healed. Um... So turning the power off hurts him. Okay. I would have thought that he might just power down. Warning online. Warning online. Right. There's nothing we can really play with here. This is all done. Okay, so... Uh, yes, on it, buddy. I'm just going to go get Fleming. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Transfer of uh, consciousness into a machine, I'm guessing. Uh, hey, pal, you didn't see a flashlight anywhere, did you? Oh, okay, human. He's dead. he's dead. Who's this? Ah, that's Carl. Ah. Uh, did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. The next apocalypse. Really we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting around. Ah! Oh. So... He got got by something. I mean, he looks fairly normal. And his body doesn't seem to be that old. I mean, what was it, 140 odd days? This place has been out for? Now, he did mention the next apocalypse. Is that relevant? Or was he just being a jackass? Nah. Okay. Very interesting. I, I'm really enjoying this. 
Theta, turn around. We sealed up Epsilon to keep it working. Don't fuck it up. Uh, A, A, two, two, zero. What? Carl, it was not my fault. Alright. Okay. Those doors are not working. I'm guessing we can't go through here. However, the door is... We've got so many places to check. I... Oh, that's probably not wise to open that. Yeah, we, we'll come back here if we're stuck. What can we fiddle with there? Ah. No guns around, is there? You know, I'll take a spear gun, anything really. That's Amy. Okay. Well, we haven't found Amy, uh, but we found a, s a jumpsuit. But that doesn't really mean anything. That just means she has spare uniform. Alright. So. Caution. Uh, no storage permitted. This area must be kept clear at all times. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, what have we got here? You're right, pal. Do you want to have a do you want to have a little chat? You've been here a while. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so is that what killed him? Or? Right, so I'm guessing either it also got Amy, or she disabled it. Ha. Huh. Let's, uh, shut that up. Okay. Got lots of bits and bobs. See, there's so many cool little things around here that we can potentially play with, but I don't think any of it does anything. Um. Alright, well... Fuck all we can do there. That has Carl, or what's left of Carl. We can check upstairs in the communications tower. Uh, can we? Stand clear whilst... Nope, that's broken. So that just leaves us with one choice, really. Let's shut all these doors. Uh, shut the doors might not be that wise. I don't know. We'll leave them. Alright, well, I guess we have one area left to check. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this, guys. This is great. This is just what I was looking for. Hello. Oh. Yeah, about what I expected. Zeppelin cargo transport system. Zeppelin? Really? Um, alright, well, I guess there's more to do back here then. That's still locked. Sorry, Carl, buddy. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened to you. Not really sure what happened to you. Uh, I'm guessing... That's gonna be the same. Going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Can we skip this? Yeah, we can just get far enough away. Alright, well. Uh, I guess we have to turn Fleming off. Uh, not Fleming, Carl. Um, buddy, this is going to suck for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well. I would say you're just a soulless machine, but uh, I have no idea. Right, anything? Is there anything different now? Yeah, right, buddy. I really don't feel that bad for you because you're just a robot. Maybe a robot with feelings. 
But they're simulated feelings. No, we can't. Definitely can't do anything with that. Switching him off must do something. Uh, don't worry about it, buddy. You can take it. I'm pretty sure you can take it. Uh, you're gonna be fine. Absolutely fine. Because you're a machine. You just think you're human. Unless your consciousness actually is in, uh... Uh, in that robot. Which, in which case, that that's a little bit awkward. I'll give you that. Hmm. We really need that. Hmm. Now, that note. Was that note actually? Okay. Oh. Let's go talk to our buddy here. All right, pal. Um, you do need to control yourself. Okay. We're going to be fine. So that doesn't appear to do anything. Alright, buddy. Alright. Let me turn your juice back on. Actually, can we do anything to him whilst he's frying? No. Yeah, Alright, buddy. There you go. And thank me later. Right, that doesn't appear to do anything. Like, at all. You okay? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, I think we broke him. Hey. Hello? Hey. Yeah, well, bad luck, pal. Uh, okay, in that case... We need to find the login system. Oh, we didn't try opening this. Stand clear, was Access to comms area. Let's try switching him off and... F did we? Did we try that? I can't remember. We can't fiddle with any of these. Warning, warning, warning. Yeah, we can't fiddle with any of that. Hmm. Oh, you are back with us. Um, yeah, might want to close your eyes, buddy. That does overload something. Which is strange. No, that literally doesn't do anything. It only seems to affect that room. We can't fiddle with you now. Right, let's go and re-examine that note. There's nothing here. There's nothing buried there. Uh, we definitely can't go through there. That is locked up tight. The only clue we have is this. But, uh, Theta, turn around. Carl was not my fault. So, I would say that that's A22. It's very hard writing to read. But they're, they're definitely not numbers. Definitely letters. I, I cannot read that writing, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, we must be overlooking something here. What am I going to do, guys? Um, I'm going to have fiddle around. Ooh. No, that's just his drill. I'm going to have a fiddle around off camera and see what I can find. Um... It did say there's... Inf hang on, let's just shut him up, because he's doing it in. Alright, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. There you go. Enhance your calm. It's gonna be alright. For me, hopefully, anyway. You can't speak for yourself, old boy. I shall try and save you. Um... Definitely can't see anything here. Can we can we open this? Amy's sketchbook. So Amy was the artist. It's kind of 
kind of harsh. They were just like living here together. But all good things must come to an end, am I right? Explore. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to be exploring. Um, so what did that say again? No, get off. Lockdown. Process initiated. Check terminal for details. Yes. But we, we can't check the terminal, though. Ah, we haven't fiddled with this yet. Does that give us, like, hidden knowledge? It doesn't hurt anymore. What doesn't hurt anymore? Something exploded. The lights. But... Apart from that, it didn't do anything. Now we can't see shit. So I guess, I mean, that's a healing station, but I didn't even realize we had a health bar, to be honest. Right, okay, guys, well, I'm going to leave it here. Um, apologize for the lack of progress. But um, I have no idea what I'm looking for here. I'm guessing we need a code to get into the system, but it says check the terminal, but that the terminal could be anything. Uh, I'm guessing we need to open this door, but this this is f fucked. Um, we've got clothes here, so they were obviously living here. But I guess nowhere is actually safe. Check the terminal. Can we just... Invalid login. So we need something that's four letters. Uh, oh, hang on. Am I being the stupid? I bet I'm being fucking stupid, aren't I? Let's go look at his ID badge. Really? Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. 0722. Really? Bloody obvious. 02... 0722. Ah, oh, what a... Bloody retard. Oh, seven, two, two. All right. Ah, uh, right. Um. Okay. So Heather, Ipsum auto process power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. All superficial systems have been turned off. If anybody has to return. Know that the power flow regulator is hanging on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here, Carl. I. Oh, you can send it. Alright, well. Power manager, thermal. Thermal chamber, storage, flow control, comm center. Ah, I guess we have to turn the comm center back on. Solution found. Shut down one of the highlighted sectors to divert power from the communication center. Okay, so... Where are we? Uh, flow control. We can turn... Ooh. Right. Alright. So how do we turn that shit off? Staff. Adams. Dispatcher. I guess that doesn't really make any sense. Lock. Okay, cool. I cannot believe that. I apologise, guys. Utter donkey. Yeah, I'd like some light. The black box. The black... Hang on. Can I zoom? You can't... Ah, there we go. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is consistently relayed to Patheus 2's warden unit. Ah. Okay, so that's the warden unit. So the station can provide you with the appropriate climate for every situation. For optimal performance, please follow the in auto injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. Okay, yeah, give me, uh, give me one of those bad boys. It's not a suppository, is it? Um, 
Well, that is a big chip. That is a very big chip. How... What the heck is this? Yep, yeah, some light would be fantastic. Uh, I'm guessing somehow... Where's the auto-injector? Ah. Oh, lovely. Right. Um, auto-injector. So if I was a auto-injector... Uh, that's a pair of boots. Uh, can we just... We can't pick it up and put it in our inventory. And we can't pick it up and use it. No torch here either. Oh, can't use that. Um, unless we can't use this, but... I mean, there's one here. So... It, ah, yeah, we actually need... The whole bit, don't we? So can we pick that up as well? Uh, I think so. How do we... No, we can't interact with that. We can only interact with this. Uh, well, we can take our chip for a walk. I'm guessing we need it, though. Well, we know where it is anyway. I suppose we can always come back. We have drills. I don't really want to inject it into my brain with a drill. And I'm quite confident with a drill, but uh, not to perform brain surgery. Can't read any. Oh, the trouble with everything being interactive as well is you don't know what's important and what isn't. Um, all right. So I'm guessing we need to shut down power from somewhere. Uh, I'm guessing this is one of the areas we can shut down power from. Yeah, this is going to suck for you, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to turn off the power. Rest in the knowledge that I care very little for your feelings. Being a robot and all. Um, now, can we... Fire this up? Um, it was... Okay. Uh, power management... There we go. Right. Well. Here goes everything. Alright. Looks fairly safe. Let's just close that down. Okay. What exactly are we looking at here? Oh, we've got lots of stuff to read. New York, status offline. Last contact, January 2003. Well, well, well. The office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From everyone here, I just want to say it's been an honor working with you in Ypsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Ha. Huh. Right, so the world did end, I guess. Why? North America, Atlantic Ocean. Good luck with the apocalypse. Uh, okay, I want to know more. Uh, update on the defense measures. Final efforts by the global community to prevent collision has... Ah, so asteroid maybe? Has failed. Pathos 2 should make uh, any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following the impact. Estimated time for impact. So, asteroid. Alright. An asteroid with some kind of alien virus thing on, I guess. Uh -huh. It's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Ypsilon and Pathos 2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, your supervisor Jane Adams, and the rest of your staff. You are a terrific group, and it is with great confidence I say that 
Where we fail, you shall surely carry on with bravery. So I guess this was a contingency plan for people to live underwater. Uh, auxiliary. Jonesy, I know you have a much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. <laughs> Shit, that's heavy. Atlantic Ocean, North America, Europe, Africa. Ah, cool. Well, we've got a shit switch that we can flick. I'm not sure if we have to collect these or if they are just health stations. Uh, corrupted data detected. Yeah, let's restore. Oh, that's cool. Partial data recovery successful. Decided to leave Amy, Asaro, and Kalsanka to execute the automatization process. Ah. I'm thrilled about it. I just wanted to let you know we're on schedule and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, I'll pass on the ball check. So, Amy and Carl were left here to um, sort shit out whilst everyone else uh, evacuated, so they weren't trapped here. Okay. So, um, okay, so where did everyone evacuate to then? I guess there's going to be some underwater facility somewhere. Hey, hello? Theta? Epsilon, what's up? We could really use direct contact with Heather. Uh, I mean, uh, Site Service Engineer Wolchek. Direct links are almost impossible to establish. The Lumar relays are basically junk at this point. You can send messages via the comm center, and if you want, I'm pretty much always here, ready to relay anything by hand. I know it's a shitty system, but it's all that works right now. All right, we just have to make two. Catch you later. Hmm. Hello, Peter, was it? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We're getting out. I just want to tell you that I'm going to seal the comm center now, so this is definitely the last you'll hear from us. If we don't show up in the next couple of hours, send in the cavalry. Hang on, what's happening? It's still the same plan, right? Yep. We'll head for the shuttle and ride it directly to Theta. Okay, good. I'll rally the troops for a welcome party. <laughs> so, what, everybody regrouped here? Huh. Alright. Why? I guess they were condensing everybody down. Shutting off systems that they could no longer support anymore. Lumar link broken. Manual input required. Okay. Uh. So, it was Lombarda. Ah, I see. Come on, baby, don't fail me now. There we are. Connected. That's a nice, simple system. Uh, establishing. Offline shit. Oh, that's Site Delta. No, that's not what we wanted. That's because I'm stupid. Uh, we want the bar. Ah, there we go. Yeah, man. Communication engineer on hand. So I'm guessing it's all the way over here in the other direction. Come on, baby, come on. There we go. Right. Hey, are you there? Nice. I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Yeah. Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? Kind I was of. hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Um, Where do you even begin? I mean, what everything? is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? 
Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I... I think he was in pain. I'm not sure what to do. He said he was hurting. Sort of. I, I don't know. Um... What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Um... Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are sound trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Um... Shit. Oh, uh, bollocks. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck it. Um. Uh. Uh. My handle broke. Well, I'm a little bit upset about it. Oh, hello. What is this? What the hell? How is this possible? Oh, we are. Uh, what the? This is, this is insane! Fuck. Uh, we are definitely a robot. Right, anyway guys, we're on an hour here, so I'm gonna leave it. Um. Not that I want to leave it. This is really cool. But yeah, I mean, we're we're, we're definitely a robot. I'm guessing. Um, ooh, weird stuff indeed. So the world has ended. Um, I guess Pathos Two and all the other facilities were some kind of contingency plan. They they. I guess the way they're explaining it, the Earth was hit by an asteroid somewhere in the year. Uh, 20, well, 2103, maybe. Um, I'm guessing there was some kind of weird virus or contamination on the asteroid. Uh, but who knows at this point? Amy and Greg were left, uh, Amy and Carl were left behind, and uh, well, somehow Carl got sucked into a machine. Um, yeah, lots of stuff going on here, guys. I'm. I'm quite excited to see what happens next. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, till next time.